Hello and welcome to my Podia community feature overview. In this video, I'm going to be talking about something that's pretty much a potential Facebook group alternative. And just those few words to myself is music to my ears because I'm not big on Facebook groups as it is myself. If you'd like to follow along, I will put a link down below. And if you click that, they actually come with a free plan and communities is one of those big features that does come with the free plan. So feel free to check that out. Let's begin. In order to get started from scratch, say if you have the free plan, you're going to want to click on the community button. Now, if you don't have one already, there should be a button that says, you know, create a new one. You can enter your title for it, you know, whatever you want to name it, and then go from there. You can always change it if needed. And then eventually you'll get to a page that looks similar to this. There might be a couple more posts. These are some of them that they just give you some tutorials, talk about advice and so on and so forth. And the first thing right off the bat I love is their simplicity. If you take a look at the screen for just one second, I know you've been looking at it for a few, but there's not a whole lot going on. And I like that there. It's not one of those very advanced softwares. I love the simplicity of it. And because of that it's going to allow for much easier use, especially when it comes to getting up and running very similar when it comes to creating your own course on this. We have our home here where we're going to see some of the, uh, already created, I guess you could say post that they have for you. I'll click on that shortly. We have a section where you can check out the members. You can search for any type of post. Settings is going to be where you can, you know, edit things around description, the name and image if you want to utilize that banners, plans, and so on and so forth. And on the bottom, we have general, which is going to be the main topic that we have so far. So you can see anything that's been created under the general topic. And of course, we have all topics, which we're probably going to want to create a new one. So if you have a community, general is going to be a good topic, right? Because not always is it going to fit into the other main topics that you have. Let's say this community is going to be about software where people can come in, talk about software. Maybe if they want to get ideas about new softwares they can use and I can review just using this as an example. So let's do a new topic right here. Let's call it software. And then let's do for anything software related. So choose image or search images. I like the fact you can search on splash right here. So I'm just going to go with software and something like this will do. Okay. So this can be open. All community members can view and follow this topic. You can do private. You can do public. Uh, anyone with access can make posts or only I can really up to you. And we have default notifications and of course, default topic. Uh, this is going to be default. I'll say general is probably going to be default, but let's create this topic. Okay, so there we are. Now we have that additional one. So if we go to all topics, you're going to see now we have software in general. We can always change around this as well. So let's go here. Oops. Let's go to all topics. Let's do edit. There we go. Wrong button. And of course, let's just say, let's search. So let's do general. I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to find, you know, light bulb that could work, right? Anything general, good vibes only. Let's go with that. That works. Okay. Let's do update topic. Okay. So what I want to do is let's go back to the home section here. And this is going to be the, uh, the post that comes when you first create your community talks about the two big things in terms of setting up your plans and including products. So what you can do, you can do free plan with basic discussion, or you can do a paid plan that has private discussion topics and includes access to products. Make sure that you integrate with Stripe in order to do that. And of course, there are going to be some tutorials about if you want to use products in your community. Okay. Given the fact we're just talking about the community here, so what you would need to do is create your course first, make sure it's paid, and then you can utilize those. There will be instructions for that. But let's go back really quickly. And of course, let's just say we don't want that there anymore. We understand that stuff. We can click here and do delete post. Delete post. Good. So now we have nothing here, and that's completely fine. So let's go to community, and now we have new post. This is how we can actually create our new posts. Okay, so this is just an example, any software requests. So for example, if I have a community of people who are interested in testing out various software tools, this is something I can create. Do you have any software requests that you'd like me to look into? If so, please leave a comment down below. Of course, we have our choose topic. This is going to be under software and let's click on done. And why not? Let's publish now. You can also schedule it if you want or save as a draft, but we'll publish. All right. So let's say I want to like that. That's what that looks like. One reply. How about Podia, <laughs> right? Just to show you what a post looks like. Okay. And then it goes on from there. So we can go back home there and we're going to have our software request. You can see it's going to be under the software there specifically. If we click on that, we can see the quote unquote hashtag software. So anything that's going to be under this specific section is going to show up under software. That's why it's a good idea to probably have more topics 
once you know what you're going to be creating your community about, of course, let's just say mine revolves around software. In fact, you could probably go a little bit deeper where you have some tutorials, maybe some other stuff about copywriting or landing page building, sales funnel building, uh, traffic generation, YouTube specific uh tutorials and videos, thumbnail creation, stuff like that. So that's just something I recommend thinking about before you actually create your community. Come up with some of the biggest topics that you think your community members will be talking about and create those so that when they go to create a post, they'll have something to kind of embed it under so it goes in the right topic. Okay, and that pretty much just about does it. There's also the ability where if you want to edit your sales page, uh, I'm going to be doing that I'm utilizing more of their website builder in another video, but that's where you can do it if you need to. You can also preview and view the page if needed, but all in all, that's going to be a very quick overview of the Podia community feature. Once again, I love the simplicity of this. Uh, I use a lot of software and I think anything that is simple is usually going to be much easier to get up and running. And that has been my experience just from demoing this very quickly. And I think you're going to have probably a similar experience. And I think that's going to be especially beneficial if you're like me and you don't want to use Facebook groups because there's just so many distractions there. Plus they run ads in a lot of groups now and so on and so forth. But you know, that's going to be another feature that comes along with this and that's always a good thing if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below i will also have that link down below where you can check out podia they do come with that free plan my name is james thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video